Someone should whip that butt into shape. This game is so funny, bro. All right, next day. So what did we? Okay, so 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 the guy that died was the guy who was the defendant to the murderer of Edgeworth's father and Edgeworth's mentor. I really, I don't know if it it was. I don't think they. I don't think they ever explicitly said he was a mentor. They they hinted at it. I don't think they explicitly said it though. I could have missed it. I could have missed it easily. But anyway, he's on a forty year streak and he keeps interrupting me. Hate that guy. Hate hate that guy. <laughs> All right, definitely my least favorite character. So like he keeps interrupting me. Like let me do my anyway. Maya. Hey Nick, it's you. I'm glad. Oh, because contempt of court. But I thought they just kick you out of the courtroom. Damn. That's what the judge kept saying. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? No, nah, she did her thing. Uh, okay. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. Questioned about what? He said, seeing, at, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Cool, cool, cool. Phew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Fuck. Why did why she act like she gave me permission to pay for her? Like, oh my gosh. Huh, huh, how much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bells of money every time I hear the word bell? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through her, to her at all. I tried. I really did. She, maybe, I don't know, maybe she moved on. Maybe y'all can only commune with the ghosts that have something to finish. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm, she sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Alright. Hey, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's uh, go down the list, right? No one should be here, right? Just checking. Sure is quiet here with nobody around, right? I have to get Maya out of that. Okay. Oh, so do I have to t talk to Gumshoe? Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Okay. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live, he's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol. I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. All right, bet. There are fewer than there were y yesterday. There are fewer, there are fewer than there were yesterday. But the cops are still around in the park. For some reason in my head, I was like, there are fewer here than there were yesterday. But I think it works both ways. Whatever. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Well, he's at the scene, so... Better be. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off... Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonce. Yeah, let's go here. Nope, there he is. Yep. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, it, er. Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say, good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Let's talk. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing another witness. Another witness? Yeah, you mentioned that. Oh, right, he said something about... Okay, well, yeah. There were 
two witnesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to... I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. All right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6, the DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Damn. I wanted to talk to you about my affair. Imagine that. Imagine your, someone in your family that you are really close with. Killed right in front of you? You ain't gonna be the same after that. Huh? She's not out on Bell yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what would happen. What would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her? Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of here, out of there, as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is Belle going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Wow. What, Edgeworth? Didn't, didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. All right, bro. Let's not. Come on now. I don't see anything new. None of this is checkmarked, but I'm guessing that's because it'll be different without, um, whatever I say would be different because Maya isn't here. So I'm not going to think about that too much. Yeah, let's go, go straight to her. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? <laughs> like I was some kind of trick criminal. Can you believe that? Well, they let you out in then, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for Bell. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted Bell for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. What's, oh, this is this. Okay, yeah. This is the hint system. We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gory. I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues, yeah, yeah the park's. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's good to know that those always say the same thing. So, like, you know that this is just like a throughout the game if you're stuck thing. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Mulatto. Y'all really did it today. Well, what did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Mulatto. So you see, I ought to make it up to y'all. Cause I'm a real ass rich ass bitch, bitch from the south. Make it up. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing a half just today. Say I'd be a wait what? I was doing a half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything, I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I should know that now. I'm glad that they bring that up in this game. Like, witness testimonies are pretty garbage. In general. 
I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Like, just think about how much shit you get wrong and you think you remember. Or like, when people say they saw you do something or they, you said something or whatever, it's like, that ain't, that ain't what happened. <laughs> you mean the first time you, the first time you witness a murder. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I get my exclusive photos and rocket stardom. All right, mulatto, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer too. Finish your spare medium training first. Mulatto, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What? What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little, a little exchange. E exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. <laughs> what? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh... I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what it'll be? We gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Yeah, deal, deal, deal. What's the exchange, though? Wait, what? What do you want from us? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Oh man, so we're gonna have to take a boat, huh? I don't know. That that'd be kinda cool though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But but Gordy doesn't I mean Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. What? <laughs> I keep watching. I'll keep in watch. I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first. Got it? Oh, uh, okay. Right. See y'all later. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. H hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy. I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Don't know who that would be, but let's uh... What the fuck is that? Wh what's that? The, the, the still samurai, Nick! <laughs> Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Keanu's idea. She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive. She, she could find those for you. I'm starting to think that she thinks that you're just a worker. <laughs> that you're not actually in a relationship, my man. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished. And that show's finished now. So she got him for free. Right. Yo, yo, Nick. What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in core, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry. Did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? So, I bet you... Maybe, here's what I'm thinking. I bet you, I, I, I didn't want to mention this before because I was like, I'm reaching, but I don't know. Now I'm feeling good about it. I bet you. I bet you ever since he saw his father die, right? Get shot. Ever since then, he's been scared of loud noises. An earthquake maybe was a loud noise. And uh, it triggered him, and we could use that 
to like help in his defense maybe i don't know that's weird i don't think he was ever like that in school no really well we were, we were only in the same class for a little bit he transferred school is pretty quick transferred <laughs> right when the dl6 incident happened doesn't look like larry knows about it though hey larry when did you get that big thing huh oh the big guy <laughs> i've had that for about a month yeah it's a big hit with the kids why wasn't there yesterday uh oh all oh, right the compressor was busted compressor yeah it's that little you know by my hot dog stand that's what i used to put air in the steel samurai it broke a little while ago so i sent it in for repairs oh and here i thought you had inflated it by yourself Doesn't that still samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good adver advertising. Something about this still samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Probably because it's like fat or something. I don't know. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True kind of sores like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These still samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. I can't. Oh, I was about to say. Those flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? Uh huh, what? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh? I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? All right, so let me see. So this is the USA. Let me, let me, I, I really don't know worldly stuff, okay? I don't. NA education, get off me. All right, I really don't. Uh, but, okay, USA. Belgium. Japan. Brazil. Sweden. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I guess I, I could throw out a guess. What even are these? Like, what are they? Why are these the flags? Oh, are these? Wait, no, that doesn't make sense because USA is in uh, in the Eurasian continent. I've never seen this one. I'm, I'm gonna say the, I've never seen these two. Korea, South Korea. Does North Korea have? The, there's no way it has the same. South Korea. China, England, Australia, <laughs> I think, oh, what it, could this be, Italy, no, that don't, <laughs> motherfucking, uh, some, I have no clue, all right, what's this machine, that's a compressor, right, Th that, that's a compressor, I used to fill up the, that balloon there with hot with air. Huh? Neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Why is he sweating? Where are all these? Fuck it. I can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs, no less. Hey, man. Whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add world fame? Oh, this is okay. All right, so. I guess all this stuff just kind of reset, huh? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Alright. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all. They're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. That's crazy to me. There are some boats flo floating at the dock. The murder took place in the boat. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Okay. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. I didn't catch that the first time. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. 
Hmm. Okay. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about... Find anything out about G Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at nighttime. It is a little chilly. I... I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, 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 no, you don't know sneezing. What? what you... Oh, that is hilarious. I told you no sneezing. See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. And trick on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh god. If she sneezed and I had to. <laughs> that's crazy. What happened? I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa. Didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photogra photographer. That is ridiculous. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. UFO. Y UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. No, so, hey, you know what? Honestly, sometimes you gotta cut your losses, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Uh, huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Didn't I just select this? What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? How could that? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I don't think Lada is very good care of her SUV. It's covered in dents. I can't believe anyone. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Pilot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you still here? What is this? Low key, wouldn't you have heard something? Hmm, cause he was here all night or am I tripping? Or maybe he was, maybe he was just working on Christmas Day. Oh, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. He was working on Christmas Day. That's what they were saying, like it sucks that you're here on Christmas. For some reason I got that mix, mixed up in my head. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. <laughs> Besides money, that is. It kind of sucks. I wish I could... I wish I could speed up again with the next few games after this one, the sequels. I'm gonna really hope that that there's an option to speed up the text and the rate that the text, you know, goes. Cause it kind of said like I don't want to accidentally skip certain parts because I've done that before, and I just. I don't know. Like, it's weird for me to read when I don't know what's coming up next, basically. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting come up, coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edwards' motive. His motive? See, 
Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident, and the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gore Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got time to go wild muster, huh? What about question? Why about doing a little question for me then? Questioning, questioning for me then. Questioning. Jesus Christ. Oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. Oh my gosh. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Mulatto. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Uh, huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for a find of evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapons, what? Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one, missile. Missile? He's a K-9 police dog, still in training. Oh God, I'm, I think I'm adding a little bit too much country. Hold on, let me, let me. Missile. Hold on, missile, missile. Here, boy. Woof. Here he is. Hey, he's cute. That's a, that's a, hey, that's a cute dog. I'm like, that's a, that's a police dog. All right, look at the cute dog. The cute dog, and this will help us how? Oh. Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Y yeah, how are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Oh, God. That's true. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make it. I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either for the total, for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. So I can't borrow any of them. I'm not doing the fish pole. Metal detector could be cool, but I'll borrow a missile. See if uh, it's, it can sniff anything out. Can we borrow a missile? Sure, pal. Be good to him. Ooh. He's so cute! Oh boy. K9. K9 unit in training. Very cute with shiny eyes. Alright. Okay. Examine. So, well, I feel which is chill. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to use it. Hey, Nick! Hmm. Missile's been acting strangely. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Missile? Oh, oh right. That little creature of the detectives. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with missile? Ooh, what the fuck? Missile, missile. Oh, it's eating the samurai dogs. That's hilarious. <laughs> Holy sh- I thought this shit was- Oh, well, I guess it's still in training. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, we're good. For some reason, my Steam Deck isn't working. Oh. My samurai dogs. Wow, he ate every single one. I'm sorry, am I gonna have to pay for that? I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry, sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. 
<laughs> it's going to have to. <laughs> it's going to have to this time. That's crazy. Let's take him to the boat. Nope. All right. That was a nice little scene that they didn't have to put in. That was cool. Okay. I forget that O is a faster skip. I said O, circle. Alright, so I think that's it for Missile. Yeah, I think that's it for Missile. The type of gum gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? <laughs> yeah, sure, pal. I'll have to take back the last one I lent you. Alright, let's go metal detector. Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure. Wait, what? You're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Yeah. Alright. Move? Boat rental, maybe? I, I wonder if we'll maybe find another bullet. Let's go. Are you serious? N Nick! It's beeping. The metal detectors found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? She checks it out. Love that. Love that. It's a good woman right there. <laughs> Nick! Look! Huh, an air tank? What? Explain yourself, Larry. Because he was sweating when he said he had to fix it. Huh, the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? H huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it for with us for now. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. An empty air tank. The valve is open and a banner of flags is wrapped around it. All right, easy. All right, Larry. What? Present. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Punk? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? Is he twitching? He show is. It's just like the string of flags around your still samurai there. B must be a coincidence. There's strings, there are strings of flags everywhere these days. L like elementary school. And they used car dealerships. L why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I, 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 inflate what? What else? That big puffy still samurai fool. N now why would why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, see the compressor. I, I always use was. Uh, <laughs> so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and it, it did do so well, as I sus suspected. Ask more about the tank, like, what? Well, I was in the bushes, it didn't go so well. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you could be a little bit more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, dude. So I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. Fine. <laughs> Whatever, it's like... What I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam, what the fuck? The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. What the fuck? So this is the one bang. This is one bang. When did this happen, bro? And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated still samurai with it. 
What? Off into Gourd Lake? It just scared me out of my gourd for sure. That's for sure. That's funny. Flying air tank. Um, so the tank in the still summer you were trying to fill up flew away? What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the go into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it for it. Uh, it doesn't have a date. But I think that that was Gordy. This thing. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Keonce gave me that still summer after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. Wow. It flew away out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. Oh, okay. Wow. So you didn't know about what happened? Nope. That's too bad. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Sorry, lady. Well, well, Mr. Warrior, I've got the info. I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? I mean, should we say mulatto? There's no. Okay, never mind. What? How can you tell? Be so sure. How can y'all be so sure? R really, Nick? Maybe I should have said we found Gordy because we kind of did. Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist. It's here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Ah, fuck. Larry's air tank? Wow. What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, <laughs> who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used his this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? Wow. The tank, the tank along with the still deflated samurai fell into the lake. At the same time... Wow. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the still samurai? Damn. Well, that's a fine way to ruin the gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Mulatto. No, it's okay. You win. I give you your info, like I promised. Poor Mulatto. Case information, let's go. So tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up, up the path here. Wow. Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Mulatto. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. The camera clicked twice, you know. Oh shit, wait. So you have another phone? <sighs> well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful, helpful at all, but here, take it. it shows an empty lake taken automatically at December. Okay, that's perfect. So now we know that the lake was deserted before that time. Or at that time, you know what I mean. Second lake photo. Uh, bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Damn, mulatto, I'ma miss you. Poor mulatto. It's all it's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess.
The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. That's crazy. Mm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Freaky. Alright. Hey Nick, this is the boat shop that L Mulatto was talking about. You're right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Oh, yeah. Caretaker's Shack. What the f- Oh, this is kind of fire. That looks delicious. I'm not talking about the food. Don't talk- No, I'm playing. That, yeah, that food looks delicious. Oh. You're drunk, aren't you? He's a drunkard, bro. Meg, that you? <laughs> Eek. Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. N Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg. Y yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. P pasta shop? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old bed proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Polly, the kids are home. <laughs> hello, hello. Squawk. Okay, yeah, this is going to fuck me up. This is going to fuck me up. N Nick, what was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith. Y yes? I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hand, Sonny. N Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello, squad! Hey, yo. <sighs> Bro, what? He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Let me examine, let me examine. Let me hydrate, shit. <sighs> wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. It, it don't repeat? It just says hello? It ignored me. Alright. Oh, what the hell? What, you forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Polly! <laughs> her name? Polly, how you been? Hello, hello! Squawk! <laughs> Say... <laughs> Neat! So the parrot's name is Polly. The erstwhile... Don't know what that means. Interesting. Er the erstwhile... Erstwhile companion of the boat shop take caretaker. Caretaker. The answer is to the name Polly. I don't know why it's so hard for me to read today. God damn. Too bad all she can say is hello. Ha ha ha. Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? Polly? Polly? What's your name? Polly? Squawk! <laughs> Cute! Maya's found a new friend. Cool. Looks like a kitchen unit is pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who would keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Well, wow, there are a lot of, lots of various fish in the Gore Lake here, or aren't there? Ugh. Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Oh, what the f- Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. It looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients snug and warm and drink hot cocoa. <laughs> and what? Talk about murders? And you're a party pooper, Nick. Oh my gosh. Oh, my fault. This fishing pole looks expensive. 
Wow, he has a television in here too. Look, a little safe. Hmm. It's locked. Why would you try to- She is a little fucking thief, bro. She always wants to do some fucked up shit. Goddamn criminal. Nasty. Nasty. The pasta restaurant. Ugh. Ugh. Um, a pasta shop? Oh, yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My, fa my father started it, you know. So that makes you to the third generation. Meg. Y yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dose tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. Y yes? You'll be the best pasta wrangler the rest the West has ever seen. <laughs> pasta wrangler? The West? I isn't pasta from Italy? Meg. Y yes? You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, right, of course. Everybody knows that. Nick? Huh? How long do we have to keep up this all-in-the-family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what it, what that is. No! Oh. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the palace of the pasta, the wet noodle. Though now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty sure I'm confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is, this old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. My memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Oh, wow, that's fire. No shot. You think at one point we're gonna have to call the parrot up to the damn stand? Everything important? I wonder, Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Oh my gosh. One, two, two, eight, squawk. All right. Watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. Yeah, for sure. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick. Write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Well, he's asleep. Uh -huh. He's asleep. Hello. He's asleep. What? Look a little sad. Put the fucking case. Is it in the court record? Hmm. Oh, I never looked at this, huh? How do I? Oh, it just shows. Okay, so I can't zoom in. Shows an empty lake. All right. I maybe. Hmm. I have an idea. You have anything to say now? Alright, let's see if, um... Is she gone? She's not gone. Alright. Or maybe they, she won't, they won't show, like, they won't revise that scene. Maybe we're done there. They just won't, you know. That that'd be extra work. It makes sense that they wouldn't do that. Hmm? Detective Gumshoe is in here. He's in a meeting. Fuck. Not that you mentioned it, didn't he say he had a meeting to go to? Ah, oh, that's right. I was gonna take his fishing pole and see if that would uh get him to say something different. Uh get um the caretaker to say something different. What what's his name? The caretaker. There's Polly. He thinks I'm Keith. Anyway. <laughs> ah, that's right. Let's come back later. Okay. It's like Edgeworth is in for questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so.
Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess I could come back tomorrow if I need anything. All right, all right. Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving is much more fun. I gotta turn on my damn heater. Hopefully, I don't hear that. Y'all 100% hear that. That's all right. Oh, fuck. It's not going to be much, so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bell again. All right, I'll behave. Oh dear. What to do? Well, what should we do? I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I think I'll let you decide. What should we? Do? Okay. Any thoughts? Well, I was in detention all day. Poor Maya. She probably thought about me the whole time. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to... Oh, it's the delay. It's the delay in my D-pad. In this game. Move. Let's, uh, present. Oh, oh. Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our Rambolioli? I figured out the last color. We should use indigo blue. Indigo? Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. All right. That's telling my dogs faster than I could cook them. Do you think Gordy really exists? No, we know he doesn't. No, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I keep selling samurai dogs until the truth's out. I really don't know what to do. Oh, my headset cut out for some reason. It does every now and then, but that's the first time it is done in this game. Huh. 
Gordy? Wait, I think I already tried to present this. Damn! I think I already did that. God damn. No idea. Oh, maybe this? Let's go! That lawyer's badge! Y yes, yes it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, that's kind of crazy. I get it. Huh? Uh, yup. I got you figured out now, Sonny. You're not Keith. Nick! Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir, now I'm not, no, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Ma Meg either. Shut up, Meg. We're here, in we're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm, a lawyer, huh? A, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help, but on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Sure. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I, I guess so. That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. <laughs> well, wait, didn't I just say you too, Meg? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know? Now what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello, Squawk! Uh. Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Now do I present one of these? He fell asleep. Oh my fucking... Now we're gonna go through all this again. Oh, that was it? Really want to rob his ass. <laughs> Sorry. I'm playing, I'm playing. I have play. Don't rob people, they ain't right. Oh, yep, I seen this. You, you know something about this, sir? Keith. Y yes? It's okay. You can call me dad. <laughs> D dad, you know something about this? <laughs> oh, yep, the other night. Out on the lake. Y yes, yes. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. You know what? It is, hold up. Are the creators of this game. They're Japanese, right? I'm almost positive they're Japanese. Ace. Attorney, developer, I don't fucking know. Oh, it's Capcom, so it is Japanese. What the fuck? Oh, updated. What? You know what? Not now. I mean, sure, updated. What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't know I would ever have to update this. Okay. It's, I, I just asked that because. The Japanese games are hilarious, bro. They don't, they don't give a fuck. That, like, they'll be as goofy as they want. <sighs> Alright, so he's seen this. Hmm. 
You know about Gordy? Nope. All right, well, shit. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate the conciseness. All right. Polly, here's my old... I, I didn't read that. I'm just gonna say, uh, Polly, here's my oldest friend in the world. Is that right, Polly? Hello, hello, Squawk! Hey, yo. Maybe th that again. You'll be needing that badge to run a pasta shop. Toss it. Uh, um, I think I'll hold on to it if you don't mind. Okay, yeah. I know all about that. I seen it. What? Tell us, tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose since you're taking over the shop and all. Oh, I'm tripping. My fault. I didn't know. I, I was like, that was it? What the hell? All right. I had to talk to him again. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yup. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang. So I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. A little while back, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yup. What did he say? Uh, yup. I forgot. I remember tomorrow by court time, promise. No, you won't. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe it'll help, I don't know. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Oh, shit. Whoops. Little Terry was just here. Terry? Uh, yup, the kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing the ta that this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out his face. He must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> he comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow, I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6, Squawk! This game is so funny, bro. It's actually hilarious. That's so random. <sighs> huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly? Don't forget, don't forget DL6, squawk! What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? I want to the... Why would that bird... Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Gotcha. Hey, pal. Long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? The boat caretaker. You know the boat rental shot down at Gore Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is... Who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How do you... Hmm. <clears throat> that was supposed to be top, top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Mulatto Hart. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, 
If you can convince me somehow that DL6's incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. DL6 is related. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I'll be right back. Ah, oh, I can't pause there. Alright. Oh yeah, we gotta figure out something with the DL6 incident. <laughs> I was like, what were we doing? Let's see if you unlock the door. <sighs> Alright. Oh, didn't mean to do that, sorry. I'm gonna assume... Oh, I still can't go to Grossberg. Oh, maybe... Yeah, okay, hold on. I think Grossberg is... That's where I was gonna go. What? He's not the one? I'm flabbergasted. Or to disappoint you, pal. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, guys. I just ate, and I'm like, whew. All right. <sighs> What's that, a parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident? DL6. What? what? Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but... How would that old man know about the DL6 incident, pal? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? N Nick, you think he might be? I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the is the station's records room. I'll give you a special permission to go in and find what you need. All right, where to go, Detective Gumshoe? Okay, Nick, to the records room. <laughs> I guess it's time we faced Edgeworth's past. Edgeworth's past. Man, it pays to have this guy on your side, man. Okay. Wow! It's amazing! Lee Dusty! <laughs> ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff quick! Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6. Nick! I found out where the file is! Oh, oh, thanks. Just tell me... Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it. Here you go. December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district at courthouse. What? Wait, what? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. Oh, okay. No, never mind. I misunderstood. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Wow. Yeah, he's traumatized. He's traumatized. I didn't think. I was I was just thinking a lot of noises because I was like, what are the chances that there was an earthquake right at that moment and then an earthquake again? You know what I mean? But all right. Collapsed in. Oh, I, sh I, I should have read that. I thought I read that already. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. Wow. 
that would be scary like that in the dark wow there was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious the survivors one of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart that was mr edgeworth's father wasn't it that, that was mr edgeworth's father wasn't it that's actually insane are you telling me that are you telling me that he was in uh a, a um what's the word where a claustrophobic room stuck in the elevator bro stuck in the elevator already sucks but he was stuck in the elevator with his father's dead body he said that his father was shot before his very eyes so miles edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator That's crazy. We gotta, we gotta solve this. We gotta solve this case. We're solving two cases in one. Do you have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, I found it. So, she said 15 years ago, and it was 2001. So, this is in 2016, this game? And was it considered like, current at the time? Like, did they make this game based off the current date off that current date if so if this game was made in 2016 that's very surprising i'd expect that i was thinking maybe 2000 before 2010 i don't know shit maybe just after around 2010 i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> victim victim here i found it gregory edgeworth 35 defense attorney if he were still alive he'd be 50. yeah i lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son Miles. Got you. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. Obviously. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon and pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Jesus. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds just like this, this current case. What's going on here? What is going on here? Got any data on the suspect in, here, in there? Hmm, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. You're not telling me he shot his dad just so the oxygen would that doesn't make sense because the glass was broken so he must have been the third person in the elevator well then well then he had to have done it but but he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer robert hammond hammond the victim in our case right the suspect mr yogi was oxygen deprived so much so he had brain damage damn yeah, he has to kill that motherfucker <laughs> hey hey real talk he made a decision he made a decision <laughs> you're that oxygen deprived that you're you have brain damage somebody getting shot are you kidding me he lost all memory of being in the elevator wow after he was declared innocent he disappeared hmm where could yogi have gone to i wonder he may be closer than we think i guess i know generally what happened to deal six now I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. <sighs> Nick, are we going to take the whole file? That's too much. We'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Follow the DL6 incident. Okay. Right. 
That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how dad would do testifying in court. Oh, I'm gonna call it right now, I'm gonna call it right now. When the old dude gets called up to trial, he's gonna have the parrot on his shoulder. The parrot's gonna be there, and the parrot's not gonna talk because you have to specifically say Polly, right? So once we like get stuck, there's gonna be an option to ask Polly, hey, Polly, motherfucker, what's up? You know what I mean? Because it doesn't make sense that like we could call the parrot to the stand. That'd be crazy. <laughs> uh, but man, I wonder how dad will do testif testifying in court. I'm gonna call him dad for now. Should we get right into it though? Oh man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, if you didn't try another video, maybe like that one. Like if you had a peace. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And I fear no evil because I'm blind to it all.